In this video, we are going to be learning how to fully anonymize Kali Linux with Hunix Gateway. Now, I have a Kali Linux running in my virtual box. Let's download and install Hunix Gateway. So first, open up my browser and go to google.com and type Hunix. Click on the first link. The URL is hunix.org. So first, let's understand what Hunix is. Hunix comes in two components, or rather I should say two virtual machines, where one is the Hunix Gateway, another is the Hunix Workstation. Hunix Workstation is just like any other operating system like Ubuntu, Kali Linux, or Parrot OS, where the key difference is, Hunix Workstation is connected to the Hunix Gateway. Now, what is the Hunix Gateway? Think of Hunix Gateway as just like your default gateway, except when the traffic passes through the Hunix Gateway, it will be connected to the Tor network, which will give you the most anonymity and privacy over the internet. This is one of the best ways to stay anonymous online. In this video, we are going to be connecting the Kali Linux with the Hunix Gateway. You can connect other virtual machines too. So let's get started with the installation process. First, click on download. Here, we are going to be downloading the Hunix Gateway on VirtualBox. So I'll select VirtualBox, click on it. We have two options, the graphical user interface or the CLI. I'll be going with the graphical user interface. Then scroll down and click on this button, download Hunix XFCE free. And your download will begin. Wait for the download to get completed. This is a 2GB file, so the download might take a while. I will not be downloading right now because I already have the file downloaded. So after your file is downloaded, open the folder that your file got downloaded on. I can confirm that my file got downloaded into the downloads folder. Now this is an OVF file, meaning that it is already prepackaged. You do not have to do any configuration. Just click on the file twice. You can make some configuration changes from here. But I will not do anything for now. I'll just click on finish and then click on agree. Click on agree again. And it will start importing two virtual machines. Wait for the virtual machines to get imported. I can see two virtual machines just got imported. One is the Hunix gateway. Another is the Hunix workstation. In this video, we will not be focusing on the Hunix workstation because we want Kali Linux to be our workstation. If you want to know more about the Hunix workstation, please check out my previous video in the link in the description box. So I'll remove this Hunix workstation by right clicking and clicking on remove, click on delete all files and it will be deleted. Next, let's start the Hunix gateway so that our Kali Linux traffic passes through this Hunix gateway. So select the Hunix gateway and click on start, press enter, click on understood and then click on next, click on understood and then click on next. Finally, click on finish here, select connect, which will connect to the Tor network and then click on next. This is the summary. You do not have to do anything here. Just click on next. And now it's getting connected to the Tor network. Wait for it. Click on finish. Finally, our Honix gateway has started. We just have to connect Kali Linux to this gateway so that when our traffic passes through this gateway, it is connected to the Tor network. Before that, open your terminal here and type ifconfig. And I can see two interfaces. One is the it0, another is the it1. We have to take note of this it1 interface. I can see the IPv4 of this interface is 10.152.152.10 and the subnet mask is 255.255.1920. Now that we are done taking note of this, let's connect the Kali Linux to this gateway. I will open the virtual box manager, select Kali Linux and first click on settings, click on network, make sure it is attached to internal network and from the drop down of name, select Hunix and then click on OK and then start your Kali Linux. After our Kali Linux has started, I can see that I'm not able to get connected to the internet. What we have to do right now is assign an IP address to this Kali Linux and make the default gateway the IP address of the Hunix gateway so that our traffic can pass through the Hunix gateway. So first, right click here and then click on edit connections, select wired connection one and then click on the settings icon. Next, click on the IPv4 settings, change the method from automatic DHCP to manual Next, under addresses, click on add. Let me put it side by side so that I can understand better. Okay, now we have to assign the IP address of the Kali Linux based on the IP address of the Hunix gateway. So I can see the IP address is 10.152.152.10. So I'll assign the IP address of my Kali Linux 10.152.152.11. The net mask should be the same as the net mask of the Hunix gateway, which is 255.255.1920. So I'll type here 255.255. 192.0. The default gateway would be the IP address of the Hunix gateway, which is 10.152.152.10. So I'll type here 10.152.152.10. And the DNS servers would have the same IP address of the gateway. So I'll copy this and paste it here. And then finally click on save. I'll minimize the Hunix gateway. And I can now see that my internet got connected again, which means all of our traffic from this Kali Linux is now passing through the Hunix gateway, which also means that 
anything that we do in this Kali Linux is 100% anonymous. I will confirm. I'll open up my browser and go to check.torproject.org and then press enter. I can now see that I'm connected to the Tor network. And if I go to the site, dnslicktest.com, I can see that my country is showing United States and my IP is also completely changed. So that is how you connect Kali Linux to Hunix Gateway. That is for the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching.